In this video, we're going to take a look at an integral example that requires integration by parts. Um, now, when somebody gives you an integral to do, very rarely will they tell you what technique to use. Normally, they'll just say, here's an integral and compute it, whether it be for a homework or a test or something like that. So there's some things that we should be able to pick up on this guy before we begin to recognize that this is even an integration by parts problem. Uh, the main thing that, that tips me off uh, to this is the product, right? So whenever you see something times something in an integral, we remember that there's not an integral version of the product rule for derivatives. Um, so the best thing we have is this thing called integration by parts. So let's, let's remind ourselves what that said one, one more time. Right here, I have it written up here. Um, integration by parts said that the integral of a product, and we will make a choice on u and whose dv, it would be equal to, once you make that decision, equal to u times v minus the integral of v du. So that this is um, integration by parts. So step one is to figure out who's u and who's the dv. Well, I covered that more thoroughly in the last video, but I'll repeat some of it here. The u is typically chosen as somebody who's easy to differentiate and preferably get smaller as we differentiate. So uh, the derivative of x would be one. I like that. That would be great. Um, and the derivative of e to the uh, I'm sorry, e to the minus two x will be negative two e to the negative two x. I can take his derivative, but that doesn't get any smaller. All right. So so that's already swaying my opinion. Uh, let's look at dv. Dv needs to be easy to integrate. Um, I can integrate both of these guys. Um, integral of x is x squared over 2, and integral of e to the minus 2x is negative 1 half e to the minus 2x. So that's not really the deciding factor, but um, you remember, I think the thing that's going to choose it for us is the fact that u, if possible, should be getting smaller or simpler. So I think that's made my decision for me. I think I'm going to let the x be the u and let e to the x be the dv. All right, so over here on the side, we'll jot these down. U equals x, dv equals e to the minus 2x. And then once you find those two um, in your integration by parts formula, notice you'll also need v and du as well. We need the other two guys. And so based off of these two guys, let's find du, right, du. If u equals x, then du, or the derivative of u, or derivative of x, rather, would be 1 dx, right? Now, if you have questions about that, oftentimes students will ask me, how, where'd that come from? Why does that work? Uh, let me write it down a little bit more thoroughly, and then I'll erase it. The, what we're doing here is the derivative of u with respect to x would be 1. I think everybody would agree with that. But if you just wanted the du, du would be 1 dx, 1 dx. So that's that's where that comes from. All right, and then likewise, if we're given dv, we want to retrieve the original v. We'll integrate this guy, and I'm, I'm not going to write down many of the details. It would be negative 1 half e to the minus 2x. So I'm going to assume that you already know how to do exponential integrals. So these are our four guys, and we need all four of these in our integration by parts formula. So here we go. Um, we'll just do this integral right here below, uh, below the original integral. So um, this guy right here would be equal to, let's just fill in the blanks, u times v, u times v. So I have x times negative one half e to the minus two x. And typically we reorder these where the numbers are written first, then any variable terms, then everybody else. It doesn't have to be written that way, but that's the way most people write it just because it looks the most clear. All right, and then uh, minus the integral of v du, v du. Now, personal preference, this is something I like to do. I suppose you don't have to do this, but if v or du have any constants, I like to pull them outside the integral just because that's gonna make my integral that I do later just a little bit easier. So for instance, I see a minus one half. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that outside and write plus one half because the minus the negative makes a plus e to the negative two x times one dx or just in other words just dx all right so this guy's integral is this 
But if you uh, look here, you say, well, well, Devin, that didn't do you any good because your answer still has an integral in it. Well, if you watched our last video, you'll remember me saying that this integral here uh, should be easy to do. And if it's not easy, it should at least be easier than the, uh, than the last integral here. Now, this doesn't happen in this video, but fair warning, and I'll make sure to make an example video on this. Occasionally, this integral here might require another integration by parts. That's possible. That I've seen that happen in plenty of examples. And so um, just be aware that that could be a possibility. But this is kind of a, a simpler example. I can integrate this guy, and we'll be done. So let me jot down my final line, my final answer. We have minus 1 half x e to the minus 2x uh, the one half is a tag along constant the integral of e to the minus 2x will be negative one half e to the minus 2x and if you are okay with me doing this I'll take that negative one half that's coming from this guy's integral and go ahead and multiply it times this a half and get minus one fourth a half times a half and of course we add in our, our plus c at the end um, so you know, we see what we did here. Um, the thing that tipped us off that this was integration by parts was we saw a product. And so um, I made an appropriate choice for the U and the DV based off of making sure the U got smaller or simpler. Um, and so once we had all four of these terms, we plug them in, we do the appropriate integration, and we are done. Uh, if you want to check out more integration by parts examples and, and videos, um, check out my website, fireflylectures.com.